guys and welcome back to my channel we're just gonna get right into this so I'm going to be using expressions passion twist hair and I only used about four and a half packs of hair it wasn't a lot now the goal was to do mini passion twists but I wanted to see what it would look like if I used hair that resembled mine and I wasn't feeling it but just in case y'all were wondering what that would look like here you go all right shit well shit <laughs> These are all the products I use on my hair before doing this protective style. It's it's 11:41. I was supposed to start this at nine. Oof, child. I'm not ready. I'm ready, but I'm not ready. And you know we gotta use some water to loosen up these curls. We're going to be using just one strand of hair. You can use two if you want, but I wanted them to be super mini. Separate the strand of hair, and this makes it a little bit more textured, in my opinion, when you actually do the twist, um, versus if you put it in there all willy-nilly like it is, it probably would look ridiculous. To start out the passion twist, I'm just doing regular Senegalese twist, I guess that's what they're called. You're going to twist both sides in the same direction and then twist them together in the opposite direction, I think, something like that. You'll see. Um, and I twisted until I reached the end of my hair and that's when I began doing the actual passion twist. I did use a bit of wax at the ends just to seal in my hair so it wouldn't poke out or anything. So basically the difference is that um, instead of twisting all the way down, you twist and pull up and that is what creates that fun crinkle effect that we love so much. Once you get to the end, you're going to separate each strand into two pieces making it four pieces and then you're going to put one strand to the other side and vice versa and begin twisting the same way that you were doing for the passion twist and that'll essentially lock the twist in place once you reach the very end you can either twist all the way down or leave some curls loose i kind of just did whatever i felt like doing and it was a mess <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I love how long they were, and I didn't do anything to get them that length. That was just the hair. So now I have about a hundred more. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. But it's going to be cute. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters, guys. It's gonna be cute. Damn, it's gonna take me forever. It's fine. It's fine because your hair will look great. And you'll get a hot date, but you'll probably be late. It's fine, cause your hair will be snatched. And they still, and they'll say, "Damn, you're a great catch." Ooh, and that's all, motherfucking period. Now, if you're like me and become a little directionally challenged when you get to the back of your head, feel free to braid at the root instead of um, twisting. For some reason, I just could not. I felt like I was getting carpal tunnel in my hand, so I just started braiding. I'm not a braider, guys, but I was just like, you know what? This is going to have to work today because I'm not sitting here redoing these twists 20 times. And so I was just like, you know what? I'm going to braid some. I'm going to twist some. Whatever comes naturally. And honestly... For me, it made the process a lot easier because like when you're twisting, you have to know that you're twisting in opposite directions. Yes, when you're braiding, you're just braiding. So it really was easier for me. And just showing you guys one more time for the people in the back how to do this. Also, when it came to the parting, I literally just used my fingers. I wasn't too concerned with it being perfect. I know a lot of people are like, they need their things to be in like perfect boxes, but I was like, if I'm do if I were doing this myself, which I was doing it myself, and showing it to you guys, like I shouldn't expect you to be able to part perfectly. I don't know who does that. I can't be in the mirror trying to part my head. I tried it. It took me three hours one time just to do large box braids and yeah no no thanks and half the time even if i take my time to do it they're still not straight so i was not gonna waste no time today 
For the front, you can pretty much either continue the twist all the way through or go the lazy route and do a half cornrow situation. Now, I wore this hair while I was in Cuba. I knew we were going swimming and I wanted a hairstyle that was gonna hold up to that as well as just, you know, the heat and the humidity and all that good stuff. Not all my edges, let me get, let me get a little something so I can do a little S or something. Right. <laughs> I'm about to raise my whole eyebrow. <laughs> like this. Oh, girl, I can't even see. I'm over here touching my head. <laughs> oh, do you want to use wax? I don't know if you use that. I just been putting it on. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's only my third day out here. <laughs> oh no. You just want wax this cut? Yeah. I guess I feel like it's moisturizing. But that that could just be me. Just making stuff up. Oh, you use it a lot. Okay. Oh. No, I'm gonna sit in on my palm. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh okay. <laughs> oh, you must really like it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm over here like literally like. <laughs> I think that's good. Oh, wow. I'm in the camera like. I'm tired. I don't want to do this. Just finish the rest. Just finish. I'm gonna wear a hat. I'm gonna wear a hat. Maybe I'll wake up early and do it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Maybe I can combine like a couple into one. No. <laughs> now you're dragging. <laughs> you need some more water? Mm -mm. It hurt? Mm -hmm. To finish up the end of the cornrows, I basically just split my hair into two and twisted it in the same way I was twisting my hair before Senegalese. And then once I got down to, once my, all my hair was twisted up, I went into doing passion twists. When I tell y'all I was tired, I was so tired of this, but the outcome was so good. <gasps> I'm finished, it took me five days, but I'm finished. Once that was all good and finished, I used some mousse to set my hair and that's all she wrote, guys. Now don't hate me, but I lost the footage of the final look, like the in-room look. So here's just some pictures from my trip. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more videos like this. Make sure you comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post new videos. And most importantly, thumbs this video up. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!